I would like to know what's the difference between President Trump watching TV, even pleading to go to the Capitol while, while the Capitol was being attacked, mm -hmm. and President Biden going to the beach and, and having fun while Supreme Court justices are under attack by a verbally violent mob. What's the difference between those two leaders? Wait, what's the comparison you're making? Could you say the first part? So I'm saying that what's the difference between President Trump not doing anything while the Capitol was being attacked and President Biden not doing anything while protesters, uh, while the Supreme Court justices were under attack in their own homes with their families and with their children? Well, I, there, there are two major differences here. Uh, first of all, The, our predecessor <laughs> uh, was very, uh, we have said that his behavior on that day, um, on January 6th, was atrocious. Uh, the president has said that. Um, and we are going to let the select committee, the January 6th select committee, uh, continue to do their independent uh, review of that, their hearing. Um, and you guys all saw for yourselves. The American people saw, have seen for themselves uh, what, um, what the what what our president predecessor has done his behavior and his involvement so that is not the same that is absolutely not the same we are talking about what we saw on january 6 we are talking about an attack on our democracy uh, we are talking about a very dark day that the person who was here before us seemingly if you watch was very involved so that's very very different uh, now Fast forward to uh, to this president. Uh, this president is fighting for women's rights. He's fighting for women's freedom. He has spoken out. He's been very clear uh, about what needs to happen next. Uh, he put out two executive authorities uh, that lays out uh, ways that we can protect women. Uh, he has uh, he has said that he's going. Everything is on the table. Uh, we're going to see what else we can do. But he has also has spoken very truthfully and very honestly with the American people, which is if we want to see Roe become the law of the land, we also have to act. Uh, we have to hold Congress accountable uh, and make sure that they act. And that that cannot happen, then. Americans need to go to the ballot box. And that is that is very different. And to say and to say that there is no difference, that is that is just unbelievably wrong. But is it concerned that Supreme Court justice I'm, I'm, I'm moving on. I'm moving on. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, Phil. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hold on. Go ahead, Phil. And then I'll come I'll come back to you, Emily. Go ahead. Rain did not stop dozens of pro-choice protesters from taking to the quiet streets of Chevy Chase, Maryland to make one thing clear. You don't get to take away my bodily autonomy and enjoy your Saturday night at home. You can do one or the other. First stop, Justice Brett Kavanaugh's home, where they were greeted by Montgomery County police officers. Then they headed over to Chief Justice John Roberts' residence with a similar message. Our predecessor, <laughs> uh, the, our predecessor, <laughs> uh, the, our predecessor, <laughs> uh, 